Hi, I'm Steve from 123 3D. Today we are going to bring you the beginner's printer guide to 2025. Stay tuned. This is the Creality Ender 3 V3 KE. Anybody who is looking to dabble for the first time in 3D printing, but is a little bit skeptical, thinks it's hard, or just wants to spend a minimal amount of money to test the water to see if it's actually for them or not, this would be the machine to go for. We've picked this model because in my opinion, this over the other model, the SC, which is their base baseline model, is probably the ideal starting platform. The reason I say that, you have a superior build plate, so you have a PEI texture build plate, you have an actual linear rail on the extruder axes, dual lead screws, Wi-Fi print speed of 600 millimeters a second acclaimed flat out. However, we do recommend that you only print at 300 millimeters a second with this machine. The bed temperature will reach 100 degrees, the nozzle will hit 300 degrees, an ideal machine if you want to print with PLA, TPU or PETG. Those would be my recommendations for this machine. Couple this with the Creality print slicing software, you will have a flawless experience from slicing your file, remotely send them to the printer, and away you go. Next in the lineup, we have the Creality K1C. This replaced the standard K1. This is the next step up for those who have a little bit more money to spend, want to print a wider range of materials. This printer, in my opinion, is aimed at anybody and everybody. It is equally suitable for the beginner as it is for small batch production. The beauty with this machine is fully enclosed. It also has hardened steel nozzle, which means out of the box, this machine will print with carbon infused filaments. So if you want it harder, more durable prints, this is definitely a worthy consideration. This machine comes with a lid, as you can see, a lid. The beginner, unbeknown to them, prints with PLA and keeps the lid on the machine. Bad move. When printing with PLA, remove the lid or PETG for that matter, because what happens, the chamber holds the heat, the PLA becomes soft, which causes under extrusion. Basically, the gears for the extruder cannot grip soft filament and problems start to arise. Pluses for this machine. Out of the box, you follow the on-screen setup. It auto-levels, calibrates, input shapes, everything else. You don't have to do anything. This machine works absolutely flawlessly with Creality Print slicing software. All of the profiles that are pre-configured in the slicer really don't need any tweaking for this machine. You can load in generic PLA and you can print generic PLA. The same to be said with PETG, ABS, ASA, TPU, TPE, a whole host of filaments. We have tested this machine over and over and over and over again and it always provides consistent reliable results so for those of you who want a more sleek finished looking machine check out the k1c next up another creality machine this time we have the k1 max k1 max has been out for a little over a year now and I can assure you to date, this is one of our best selling printers, and rightly so. The reason for that is you have a larger build volume. You still have the same enclosed, neat looking, sleek design. Comes with a lid. In this case, on the Max, the lid is glass. Why would you choose this printer? If you want to print cosplay props, larger items, a mixture of all different kinds of things, whether it be hobbyist or a small batch production, this machine is more than capable of doing that for you. You have a couple of added benefits with this machine, one being LiDAR, you have flow calibration, out of the box, you literally plug the machine in, follow the on-screen instructions, the machine will auto-level, input shape, calibrate, everything else, are you ready to print? The same applies to this, a lot of beginners will print with the lid on, with PLA and PETG, there is absolutely no need to print with the lid on. This is designed to keep the chamber hot for materials like ABS and ASA. The machine is also fitted with a charcoal filter at the back to filter out any fumes from ABS that you might be printing. This works absolutely seamlessly with Creality Print. 
send your files over Wi-Fi, remotely monitor them by the camera. Very, very good. Very, very reliable machine. This is a definite worthy consideration for people that have a little bit more money to spend, that want a larger print volume or want a future proof. The footprint for the machine isn't overly large, but the actual build volume is big enough. Next up in our lineup is the Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo. We were very fortunate enough to get this machine pre-release and we've worked closely with Anycubic throughout the whole process of getting this machine out to you guys. This, in my opinion, is a worthy candidate for the more creative user. The reason I say that, we have a Ace Pro unit which is capable of changing Four colours of filament, so with this machine you can perform multicolour prints. You can even use remnants of spools. So if you've got a number of part used spools, load them into the ACE unit. That will swap them out, saving you having any waste. One of the things that I really liked about this machine when we first got it was the actual build quality of the machine. This is not by any means a cheap, flimsy machine, albeit very, very, very competitively priced. When it comes to colour changing FDM printers, the components that they've used are really good. Everything is just nice, down to the touchscreen panel. The Ace Pro unit also has the added function of being a filament dryer, dual lead screws, nice flexible PEI build plate. The actual extruder runs on metal V wheels, opposed to traditional plastic V wheels. Totally self set up. You plug the machine in. You let it do its calibration and you literally away printing. Anycubic have now released updates for this machine and they've updated their slicer. The new slicer for this machine is very, very, very similar to Prusa Slicer or Orca Slicer. So it makes it a little bit more intuitive for the seasoned user, but the beginner can get on with this machine equally as well. So that is my recommendation for, I would say, a mid-range printer there's not really that much more to say it's solid it's pretty reliable it looks very stylish especially when it's powered on we will leave links to previous videos that we have made for each relevant machine so you can jump over check those out for more in-depth detail but this machine when it's powered on looks quite swish and you'll also be able to see some prints that i've been doing on this machine as well so please be sure to check out the link in the description for this machine or any other machine that we are featuring within this video. So on that note, we shall move on. Next up, what is this I hear you all asking? This is the Two Trees SK-1. Now, some of you will probably have never heard of Two Trees. We have already done a video on this machine, this very machine, but since then we have fitted the optional enclosure kit. We wanted to show you guys the benefits that you will get from adding an enclosure to this machine along with a couple of other features. So for those of you who aren't familiar with this machine or the brand, I was very impressed by the actual build quality of the machine, the components they used, the technology. They sent us some over. We tried this very, very model here. I was impressed. We bought more in for stock. I also then requested once they'd finished production of the enclosure kit, could we have some of those along with the AI camera and a few other bits and pieces but key features to this machine so in my opinion this machine would be on par with a ready built 250 mil build volume Voron Trident why do I say that I say that because this machine uses the same technology for Z leveling for those of you who don't know what Z leveling is the extruder probes the bed once the extruder has probed the bed it basically moves each lead screw on a triangular formation to level the bed or make the bed tram parallel with the extruder. It will do this a couple of times until it has an absolutely perfectly trammed bed. This results in excellent first layer addition, perfect layer every single time. The print quality for this machine, to me, if you compare this to some of the other competitors that we have featured in this video. In my opinion, the print quality that you get from this machine way outshines the other machines in this class. Why that may that be, I hear you ask. Well, components. So inside this machine, we have two lead screws at the front, 
that run on linear bearings. These are not small little linear bearings. These are, I think, MGN 12 linear rails and bearings. So we have the two front axes run on that. The rear axis, and just double check, runs on a lead screw. Then we have the extruder, which then runs on an MGN 9 linear rail. The forward and backwards motion runs on an MGN 12 linear rail each side, all belt driven. So, in summary, it is a very, very well made machine, high end components for not a lot of money. Couple that with the enclosure, which really, in my opinion, finishes this machine off a treat, is just a no brainer. The parts for this we have a glass lid, the actual top part is aluminium extrusion. It neatly houses everything away. With the enclosure panel kit, you get a filter fan and an auxiliary cooling fan that fit inside. Couple that with the fact that this machine is fully clipper operated. You can plug in a webcam, remotely monitor via mainsail or fluid or whatever you want. You can tinker around with the config files to tune it. We use this machine with Orca Slicer. Orca Slicer have recognized this printer now and it is pre-installed on the Orca Slicer profiles, add it to your Wi-Fi network, you type in the IP address, bingo, you're away. Out of the box, follow the on-screen display, self-setup is perfect, load your filament, slice your file, away you go. Save the best till last. Prusa Mark IV S. Why have I picked this machine? I may hear you ask for the beginner's choice. Very simple. If you want trouble free, consistent, reliable, high quality, low maintenance, bingo. This is it. This machine is available in two variants, kit or fully assembled. What is the difference? Fully assembled, you lift it out of the box, you plug in the power cable, you click on the spool holder, you load your filament, you print, that's it. Kit version, you save yourself some money. You have the joy building the kit. It's not a hard kit to build. The online guide is extremely intuitive. Take your time, follow the steps. It's an enjoyable process. The benefits for this, in my opinion, if you need to perform any maintenance to the machine down the line, you built it, you know what to do. If you are not that way inclined and you just want a printer out of the box, buy the assembled version. Both come with the same warranty. You will get the same print quality out of both machines. Prusa have done upgrades to the standard Mark IV and released the Mark IVs. What benefits are these, you may ask? So, with this machine, as you can see, it is an open frame machine. However, you can buy the Prusa enclosure and then you can print whatever you want with this machine. You've got better parts cooling. You can print ridiculous overhangs with this machine with no supports. Just down to the fact of how it cools. They upgraded... Some of the other parts, i.e. the screen, which is now an injection molded screen, fully enclosed back. They gave us NFC. So basically, you tap your phone on it to pair to the app. You can remotely send files directly from Prusa Slicer to the machine. Away you go. Honestly, the amount of times I've spoken to customers on the phone who are calling in for advice on what would I see to be ideal for them. Brand new to 3D printing never ever printed before my first question is what is your budget i will then give them the options for that budget if they wanted to do something a little bit more technically demanding or higher accuracy i will always 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 suggest they take a look at the prusa mark IV because in my opinion out of the box this machine blows everything else out of the water there's nothing in my opinion that competes with the reliability the constant high quality that this machine puts out time after time after time. You do pay a little bit more for the machine, but if you want something that is gonna be future-proof, upgradable, consistent, solid, and reliable, check out the Mark IV S. So to recap, the Ender 3 v 3 ke was the first one. This is our budget low-end starter recommendation printer. Next up, we have the Creality K1C, which is a fully enclosed budget entry-grade printer that is very beginner-friendly, out of the box, sets up itself, no messing around, you're away printing. After that, we had the K1 Max, which was the larger bill volume, so the bigger brother to the K1C, we would call a medium price point from the models that we have shown you in this video. After that, we have the Eddie Cubic Cobra 3 Combo, which is probably price-wise very similar in price to the Creality K1C, however a little bit more expensive 
than the Ender 3 V3 KE. After that, we then moved on to the Two Trees SK1. We have shown you the model that we have that is enclosed. Basically, the machine comes open framed. You fit the enclosure if you want it. That would be, in our opinion, a low to mid range price printer, ideally suited for anybody in business, hobby, beginner, seasoned user. It, it takes minimal setup. You don't need a whole lot of technical experience to get that machine up and running. And then last up, for those of you wanting something that is going to be sustainable, future-proof, reliable, you're willing to spend a little bit more money, we ended with the Prusa Mark IV S. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We will leave links to all the videos for the printers we have featured in this video in the description box. If you have any questions regarding any of the machines we have talked about, or if you have any questions about any other machines that may be on the market or you would like more information about, please drop a question in the comments box below. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and if you really, really want to, share. Bye-bye for now. As always, we aim to have the most competitive 3D printer prices on the market. If you see any of our printers being sold by a mainstream retailer for less, please drop us an email using the link in the description and we'll do our very best to beat their price. Also, if you're watching from outside the UK, check the description for links to our European 123 3D sister stores.